Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew here, and today I am working on a trailer. I'm working on the axles. And what I want to show you is how to identify uh, what kind of axles you have, whether you have a 2,800 20, pound axle, a 3,500 pound axle, and a 6,000 pound axle. We're going to look at two different trailers that I got, and um, I'll show you a, a quick way to identify them. Hopefully this will work out for you. So here's my trailer axle. Got the springs over there. Comes down over here. And you can see here, there's a tag. And 99%, unless well, someone took them off, 99% of your axles are going to have this tag on it. I'm going to zoom in here. And you probably can't see it, but right under my thumb, there's an indented number punched into this tag. And I can't really make it out on this axle. I really can't. It looks like it might be I don't know. It's really hard to see what that number is right there. But if I come over to this axle, and this axle is still on the trailer. I pull this thing back around like so. You can see that pretty good. And that right there says 3,500. That means this axle is a 3,500 pound axle. And um, you know, you can count the springs. If it's got four springs, it's probably a 3,500 pound axle. Um, the other thing you can do is measure the, the pipe diameter, and it's like two and it's like two and three eighths or two and five eighths or something like that. That's a 3,500 pound axle. If it's a three inch tube, more than likely, it's a 6,000 pound axle. Another way you can tell is this is pretty muddy here, but the lug nuts, five lug nuts. More than likely going to be no more than 3,500 pounds. Could be 28, but no more than 3,500. If it's a 6,000 pound axle, it's going to have six lugs on here. So that's another quick way. And you can see both of these are the five lug versions of that. So the springs, measuring the axle tubes, the lug nuts. But the, the best way to tell you is that tag right there. And if you take some cleaner and clean it off, it's punched in so you can't, ain't going to wipe it off. And you should be able to see what what they're rated at. And these ones here are rated at 3,500. Okay, so, so we're going to get down here in the grass for a second. I'm going to go up underneath my trailer here. You can see that tag there. And someone painted over it. And I can't tell if that's a 5, an 8, or what that is. But you can see it's 0, 0. And it could be 35. It could be 28. I can't tell if it's a 5. Or an eight. If you look here, you can see that it does have four springs on it, and then the backing plate there, you know. And I'll measure the tube here in a second. We'll take a look and see what that one is. If we come out and look here, we've got five lugs, but they're not lugs, they're the, the bolt style that have a lug but there's a nut on the back side and they screw in and they got reverse thread now on the front one i already went ahead and changed that changed the um the brake plate on the back side and got the one that has the the studs on instead of the screw in bolts like that i got my caliper out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure the diameter of this tube right here and we're going to see compare it to the other one because we know these are 3,500 pounds so we're going to see if these are the same diameter as my other trailer that I can't tell what they are so I'll lay this thing on here tighten it up pull it off we got 2.43 and let me um 2.43 so just under two and a half is what we're looking at. Let me just double check this real quick. It seems like every time I pull it off, it's like I'm spreading it maybe a little bit. Let's see if I can take it straight up. And that says 2.38. I think that's what I got before, 2.38 is what I got before. So right in that area, 2, 2.37, 2.40, something like that, just under between two and a quarter and two and a half is what we're looking at. Let's go measure the other one. Okay. Let me get in here. See if I can do this. 
and videotape it all at the same time. And I'll probably not get this thing on here as straight as possible. Pull it back. And we've got 2.16. Uh, it says 2.76. Um, let me put down the camera and get, see if I can get a more accurate measurement. I don't believe that's right. Okay, guys, believe it or not, I went on that trailer and measured it four different times. And each one came out to 2.7. It's two and three quarters. So that two bear is two and three quarters round. So now I'm really interested because I can't read what that says. And... And I know for a fact that these are 3,500 because I'm looking right there at the number. And you can see it. 3,500 pounds. And this tube is only... Two point three. So you're talking what is that? Two and three eighths maybe? Two and two fifty would be a quarter. Five hundred would be a half, and it's two point three, and that one's two point seven. Now it makes me wonder what that other one is. So if you have any idea on what that other one might be, maybe it's more than thirty five hundred pounds. I don't know. So go into the comment section and let me know. Okay guys, so got some interesting results off my axles here. I could have swore that one up on the other trailer was a 2,800 pound, maybe 3,000 pound. But being a two and uh, three quarter inch tube, I'm starting to think maybe it might be, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I'm confused. Because I know for a fact this is the 3,500 tube and it's only two and 2.3 inches. I'm gonna say two and three eighths, I don't know exactly what it is. Between a quarter and a half. If you have any ideas or any answers for that, put it in the comment section, let me know. But I am really surprised at the, the length or the thickness of that tube compared to this one. Interesting. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Go into the comment section like I said earlier. Put a comment in there. Let me know what you think. Like this video. Share this video. And thanks for watching.